this video is from the second chapter that is the measures of central tendency and variability and this topic is from probability and statistics. Now in today's introduction the word statistics is derived from an Italian word stato and it means a political state. In the singular sense, statistics is defined as a science which deals with the scientific methods of collection, organization, summarization, presentation, analysis and interpretation of the numerical data. Statistical methods are applied for investigation in every important science. And what is this measures of central tendency? See here, the importance of the statistical analysis is to find a number which represents in some definite way of the entire data. Such a representative number is called the central value or an average. The value of an average lies somewhere in between the two extreme items, possibly in the center, where most of the items concentrate. Hence, an average constitutes a measure of the central tendency of the series. The measure of the central tendency enables us to compare the different groups of the data. See here, the following are some important measures of the central tendency in common use. The first one is, see here, what is the first one here? The arithmetic mean. Next one, the median. This is mode, geometric progression, GM, and the harmonic mean. See here, HM. See here, these are all the five measures of the central tendencies. One is AM, arithmetic mean, median, mode, GM, geometric mean, and next one is HM, harmonic mean. An outline of the formula for the calculation of these measures of the central tendency is given below. The first one is arithmetic mean, so AM. The arithmetic mean of the series of the values of a variate is defined as the quantity obtained by dividing the sum of the values of the variate by their number. So it's an average. Arithmetic mean of an ungrouped data. Ungrouped data. There are two formulae here. So x1, x2, x3 and so on, xn are the n values of the variate x. Then the arithmetic mean is given by am is equal to x1 plus x2 plus x3 and so on, xn by n, is, which is equal to sigma xi by n. And next one is arithmetic mean of the grouped data. So here, let x1, x2, x3 and so on, xn are the mid values of the n classes of the frequency distribution with the frequencies f1, f2, f3 and so on, fn respectively. Since the value x1 occurs f1 times, x2 occurs f2 times and the value xn occurs fn times. The arithmetic mean by definition is given by arithmetic mean is equal to f1 into x1 plus f2 into x2 plus and so on fn into xn by f1 plus f2 plus f3 and so on fn which can be written as a summation i is equal to 1 to n fi xi by sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi. So, this is the formula for arithmetic mean. And next one is arithmetic mean of the combined data. So, this is the another formula that is z bar is equal to mx bar plus n y bar by m plus n. And next one is the median. See here, coming to the median, the second uh, measure of the central tendency that is median. The median of a distribution is defined as the value of the variate which divides it into two equal parts. And when the variates are arranged in an ascending or the descending order of the magnitude. See here the median of an ungrouped data. The arrange, arrange the variates in ascending or the descending order of the magnitude. Determine the total number of n of the variates. If n is odd, the median of the value is equal to n plus 1 by 2 to vary, vary, variate. And if n is even, the median of the average value of n by 2 to and n by 2 plus 1th variates. See here, if n is even, the median is equal to n by 2th term plus n by 2 plus 1th term by 2. See here, median of a grouped data. So, this is the median of ungrouped data and this is median of the grouped data. As you know, that median is equal to L plus n by 2 minus m by f into c. Where L is the lower limit, m is the cumulative frequency of the class preceding the median class and n is equal to total frequency, f the frequency of the median class and c the width of the median class. So here the median of an ungrouped data and the median of the grouped data. And next one is the mode. The mode or the model value of the distribution is defined as the value of the variate for which the frequency is maximum. Here the mode of an ungrouped data. When an individual items are given, the mode is the value of an item which occurs the most frequently. However, it is better to convert these individual terms into the frequency table to calculate the mode. 
and next one the mode of a grouped data in the grouped data the class intervals having the maximum frequency is called the model class see here the mode of the grouped data is given by mode is equal to l plus f minus f1 by 2f minus f1 minus f2 into c where l is the lower limit of the model class f is the frequency of the model class f1 the frequency of the class preceding the model class and f2 is the frequency of the class succeeding the model class and c is the width of the model class and next one is the geometric mean so gm geometric mean is defined as an nth root of the product of the values of the distribution none of them is being zero next one geometric mean of an ungrouped data see here let x1 x2 x3 and so on xn be the n values of the variate x none of them being zero then the geometric mean g is defined as g is equal to nth root of x1 into x2 into x3 and so on xn so it can otherwise be written as x1 into x2 into x3 and so on xn whole power 1 by n as it is the nth root the calculation can be easily made by taking log on both sides therefore log g is equal to log of x1 x2 x3 and so on xn power 1 by n so the g value the geometric mean value for an ungrouped data can be obtained by an anti log of 1 by n times of sigma i is equal to 1 1 to n log xi geometric mean of a grouped uh, data so here the geometric mean of the group data can be written as nth root of x1 power f1 into x2 power f2 plus and so on sorry and so on xn power fn so it can otherwise be written as x1 power fn into x2 power f2 and so on xn power fn whole power 1 by n next one is geometric mean of the combined data that is log g is equal to m log x plus n log y by n plus n is the formula and next one the last one here is an harmonic mean the harmonic mean is a series of the values of defined as the reciprocal of an arithmetic mean of the reciprocal of an individual items of which no item is equal to zero harmonic mean of an ungrouped data let x1 x2 x3 and so on xn be the n terms of the data the reciprocals 1 by x1 1 by x2 and so on 1 by xn xn therefore arithmetic mean of the reciprocals is equal to 1 by x1 plus 1 by x2 plus and so on 1 by xn by n is equal to 1 by nth times of summation i is equal to 1 to n 1 by xi the harmonic mean is equal to the reciprocal of an arithmetic mean of the reciprocals the har um, harmonic mean is equal to n by so this is 1 by this one that is n by sigma i is equal to 1 to n 1 by xi is the harmonic mean of an ungrouped data here and next one is harmonic mean of a grouped data see here let x1 x2 x3 and so on xn be the non-zero mid values of an n classes of the frequency f1 f2 f3 and so on fn let sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi is equal to n the harmonic mean is calculated by the following formula that is harmonic mean is equal to f1 plus f2 plus f3 and so on fn by this is f1 by x1 plus f2 by x2 plus and so on fn by xn which is equal to see here the summation is nothing but capital n by sigma i is equal to 1 to n fi by xi is the formula of the harmonic mean of the grouped data so these are all the formulas which i have taught you today uh, these are all the measures of the central tendency see the following are the important measures of the central tendency one is the arithmetic mean median mode group um, geometric mean and the harmonic mean and these are all the uh, the formulae which are very important in my next class i'm going to solve the problems related to these series thank you so much for watching if you really like pass it on to as many friends as you can that is the greatest help it is needed and check the playlist so many videos are uploaded for your preparation damn sure it will be very very easy thank you so much